technical name for worm cast is, is vermicast and as another source of fertiliser, they're dairy effluent, it's filtered through store, it's washed off the yard in a flood wash system and we empty the into a pit, the pit is emptied after three weeks or so and the mixture of the cow manure and the straw is emptied out of the pit onto a concrete pad and the water, excess water drains back into the pit. This is done to prepare the, the mixture for the, uh, the manure worms which we have to convert it into vermicast. We have three types of worms, um, tiger worms, red manure worms and Indian blue. You've got to pay a fair bit of uh, attention to aerating the material for a start to prepare it for the worms. Once it's aerated the once and on the concrete, then it's placed on the ground in a, wind, in a windrow and it's aerated there again. Uh, we don't normally touch it until we remove it, say six or 12 months time, and all the grass, nettles and marshmallows and whatever, anything <laughs> that grows on it is all composted back in. Before we spread it, we put it through a, a, a tommel arrangement where we the, the worm casting is, if it's got the right amount of moisture, is sort of palletised and, and then it is spread normally at the rate of about 250 kilos a hectare. But we only do that once every five years or so on a particular paddock. From analysis that I've had done, the worm casting is, is a a fantastic source of nearly all nutrients and um, far better than anything you'd buy in a bag. It's really a, a, a byproduct, so, it's, so for that reason we're actually um, utilising a resource. So it's 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 really it's really free in that regard. Mm -hmm.